Ottawa is facing new criticism tonight about its security practices. A Canadian security expert warns the measures in place right now to protect our personal information are badly out of date. The criticism comes after the federal government lost an external hard drive that contained the names, social insurance numbers, birth dates and addresses of more than half a million students. Christina Stevens reports. Chris Gallant is packing up to move. Stressful enough, but now there's a much bigger issue on his mind, not knowing who may have his personal information lost by the federal government. I found out what happened. It was absolutely livid. It makes me extremely worried. The government says a portable hard drive containing the personal information of more than 580,000 Canadians with student loans between 2000 and 2006 disappeared. Having sensitive information on an unencrypted hard drive is absolutely ridiculous even if it's temporary. News of this incident comes less than a month after the same department, Human Resources and Skills Development Canada, revealed another security breach, a lost USB key containing information on 5,000 Canadians. Security expert Tony Busseri says these cases are indicative of a much larger problem. It's our view that it's across the federal government that what HRSDC has run into as an issue is uh, exemplified across most uh, civilian and defense departments. He says he would give them a failing grade because they're using technology that's five to ten years old. These days you can access data remotely and safely without taking it with you. He notes other countries like the U.S. are far ahead. Here in Canada I'm embarrassed to say that we're trailing big time. The Minister of Human Resources declined to comment, issuing a statement calling this an unacceptable and avoidable incident, adding new security policies are in place, including a ban on portable hard drives. But what's done is done, and a thief could make the most of the lost data, which includes social insurance numbers and birth dates. They could recreate the person and become them, and they can apply for loans, credit cards, change of address. There's so many things someone could do with that information. It's very, very powerful. People should be taking it seriously. This is people's lives that they're dealing with. Gallant is considering joining a class action lawsuit. Meanwhile, the RCMP and Privacy Commissioner are investigating. Christina Stevens, Global News, Toronto.